Now, one video that did really well last month was my overview of Pi VPN, which is a VPN server you can install on your Raspberry Pi. It was actually very easy to get it up and running, and people who've been watching the video have been doing their installations and reporting a lot of success, and the YouTube algorithm has been rewarding that video with more views. And I wanted to follow it up with something similar, which was Pi Hole. Uh, this is the control panel for it here. Now, Pi Hole is an ad blocker that can run for your entire network versus just individual web browsers. So typically when you have an ad blocker, you install it as a plugin into Chrome or Edge or one of the other browsers you might be using. What Pi VPN does is it works as a DNS server and it just blocks your clients from hitting advertising servers, which can work out quite well, especially for devices like TV boxes and other things that don't allow you to install plugins. The problem I ran into it though was that it was very hard to whitelist websites. You could go in and click on whitelist over here and go through that process. But if I whitelisted my local uh, news site, for example, I was not seeing ads there still because uh, you also have to whitelist all the ad servers that that site might be using. And if those things change on a regular basis, then it's really hard to get any kind of consistent whitelisting. Typically on an ad blocker on a browser, you would whitelist the site and the ad blocker just wouldn't work for that particular site. And that is often very useful because there are websites that may not be displaying an ad to you, but might be pulling some script from a remote server that uh, needs to have the ad blocker disabled for it to work properly. I'm sure many of you have encountered that uh, in your own use of ad blockers. And unfortunately on Pi Hole, it's not clear cut. You really have to go in and do a lot of work uh, to get the whitelisting to work properly for different sites and it was going to be much too complicated for a very simple how-to video. So if you are running Pi Hole, do let me know down in the comments below how you are whitelisting sites and maybe we'll do a video on Pi Hole if we can very efficiently explain how to do the whitelisting because that's what's holding me up at the moment. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.